Hi, for those of you who watch the fraction addition, here's fraction subtraction. It's very similar. The first thing you do is check for like denominators. If they are like denominators, then you can subtract the numerators and keep the denominator. Then you'll simplify. If the denominators are not like denominators, then you need to change the denominator into a like denominator and then subtract straight across and you, you will then simplify for your answer. So let's see how these steps will work. Now might be a good time to pause the video, write down the steps, and then you can follow along with your steps as we go. So if now you'd like to write these steps down, pause the video, write the steps down, and then you can join us when you're ready. Okay. Let's start with one with like denominators. So let's say that I am adding two fifths and four fifths. So two fifths plus four fifths. Well, the first step we do is we check our denominator. Our denominator is the same, so we can add straight across. Two plus four is six. And we keep the denominator the same, so we have six fifths. But we can't keep six fifths because it's an improper fraction. So an improper fraction means the numerator is larger than the denominator. So that means that it's more than one whole. And the denominator tells me how many parts would make up a whole. So I know here that my denominator is a five and I have a six at the top. Well, five pieces would give me one whole. So six minus five would be one whole, and I'd have one piece left over, so that'd be one and one fifth. So two fifths plus four fifths is one and one fifth. And if I was not sure, I could check with models. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So I drew two. And this one is two fists, so I'd shade in two fists. And four fists, one, two, three, four. Well, that would be one, two, three, four, five, six. I've also seen people do models like this where they'll go two fists right here, and then they'll continue on. It's kind of like counting on. So then they keep those, let me erase these, and they'd go four fists would be in the black, one, two, three, four. And so you can see that I've shaded in four fists in the black and I've shaded in two fists. I'll go like this so you can see better. Two fists in the red and I have one hole and one fifth. So that's adding. What about subtracting? So again, let's take two fists, but this time let's subtract. So two fists minus one fifth. I'm gonna do it in the red. Well, keep my denominator. Two minus one would be one fifth. And to show that, I have my whole. One fifth, two fifth, and I would be subtracting one of those fifths so I could cross it out like this, and I'd be left with one fifth. Let's try one a little bit more complex. Let's do seven eighths minus four eighths. So seven minus four is three. Keep the denominator the same for eight, so that'd be three eighths. The next step, if we were kind of stepping up in difficulty, would be if we had a denominator that was not the same. So let's say that I had 7 eighths, and this time I was subtracting a half. So I can't subtract right away because my denominators are not the same. So I need to find like denominators. So I'm gonna list the multiples of eight and two, 
8, 16, 24, and then 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. I'm looking for what's known as the lowest common multiple. And so that is the multiple that is the same between the two that is the smallest. So mm, I'm going to start with 2. Mm, 4 won't work. 2 won't work. 6 won't work. 8 will work. So 7 eighths is already an 8, so I'm going to keep it that way. But I need to change 1 half into 8. So I ask myself, 2 times what is 8? Well, I know 2 times 1, 2, 3, 4 is 8. I also know the rule that anything times 1 is always itself. So I can multiply 1 half by 4 over 4, which is the same as 1 whole, to get an equivalent fraction. So 2 times 4 is 8. 4 times 1 is 4. So I could change this up here to 7 eighths minus 4 eighths. And I would get 3 eighths. There you go. Now we know how to subtract with fractions and add with fractions.